Hello guys, uh, welcome back to Tech Digital. So today in this video we will understand the concept of routing in an MVC application. So you know in one of uh, my previous video I have shown the different component which basically uh, create an MVC application. So we will uh, go through uh, each uh, uh, building blocks of an MVC applications uh, one by one. So uh, let us start with routing. So uh, I have opened the central web application here. Now go to Solution Explorer. In Solution Explorer, you can see under the App Start folder there is a file named routeconfig.cs. So you can just open this file. Now you can see here that uh, this uh, routeconfig dot file it uh, contain a static uh, uh, method that is register routes. So register routes method. It is basically uh, get registered on the application start event application st underscore start method of your global dot asx file. So open the global dot asx file, right? So you can see here under the application underscore start method, your register route method is getting registered here, right? Let's go to definition. Now, uh, this uh, there is a parameter routes which is uh, of class route collection. Now, this contain a method map route. So, map route method basically contain parameters name of the route, URL of your route, and the default one. Now, the name is basically the name of your route. Second is your URL. URL specify how a particular uh, request will be served. So uh, you have to specify the controller name, then action name, and third ID is your optional parameter. The third one is your default. So uh, uh, in browser, if you haven't specified your controller and action name, then your default controller that is home and its default method that is index will be invoked. So uh, this uh, uh, register route it is under the namespace of uh, your uh, system dot dot routing. So uh, let us try to run this application and apply the breakpoint at your uh, global dot asx file, and the second one is on route config. Okay, you can see here that the, the first of all application underscore start method is invoked. Now it will register your route. So just continue from here. You can see here the route count is zero right now. So just a second here. Now you check again the route. There are two routes. Uh, one is your one is your ignore route. Now you know route is basically uh, this is used for the uh, files which you want not to be uh, served through a request in a browser. So these are basically used for the security purpose. So if there are some files which you want not to be served through a browser request, then you can put. The extension of those files inside your ignore route method. You can see here that any file or any source with .ext extension that will be ignored. Okay. The second is your uh, default route. Okay. So you can see here the name of the route that is default one. Now it contains three keys. That is your controller name, action name and ID and then use your home and index so just press F5 and you can see here that in the browser we have not specified any of controller name and action name so it basically uh, executed the your default controller that is home 
and its default method that is index. Now suppose if we want to invoke the uh, contact contact method of our home controller then in browser you can type your controller name first of all then your action As you can see uh, the controller homes contact action is invoked and this basically executed or shown the uh, contact page of our MVC application. So under route.config.cs you can create the multiple routes depending on the um, need of your uh, application. So uh, this is all we have in uh, this particular tutorial. So hope you like this video. If there is any uh, question then you can uh, comment on this video. So thanks for watching this video.